You've heard the term penalty late to Rangers. Well, I guess today they were playing with double points because it was penalties to Rangers as Hearts throw away a 1-0 lead late on at Ibrox to lose the game by two goals to one against a bang average Rangers side, collect zero points, drop in to the bottom six of the table and look like we could go even lower once the teams behind us play their game in hand. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland TV. I've wanted Nace out since day one. I didn't want a man. I never wanted rid of Nielsen. I never wanted rid of Nielsen. Sick of people fucking slagging Nielsen when he had the best record of any Hearts manager over the past 15 years. But no, we get rid of Nielsen, a guy that had two successful periods at the club, and we bring in Naismith and we bring in another two fucking idiots to stand side by side with him on the touchlines to watch this shite. We were promised attacking football, good free flowing football. We've no seen it. We've not seen the good football, we've not seen the good results, we've seen absolutely nothing but mediocrity from this Hearts fucking board or Hearts a managerial appointment, this trio, this disaster that we've got currently in charge of the club and they need to go. I would personally fucking, not beg because I don't beg, but I mean I would really ask nicely for Robbie Nielsen, please come back Robbie, please, please, we need you. We're falling apart. We've got some fucking moron. And I like Stephen Naismith. Good player. Always liked Stevie as a player. Got no issue with Stephen Naismith as a player. I always enjoyed him when he was playing for Scotland. I enjoyed him when he played for Hearts. I enjoyed him when he played in the Premier League. And as we spell there, remember he went to Everton and did pretty good there. But I do not enjoy him as Hearts manager. He is boring as fuck. He does not excite me. His post-match interview. We could lose 5-0. We could win 5-0. He will sound the same. It's the same shit. I don't care where we are in the league table right now. I mean, when are you going to start caring? Fun, there's two games to go and we can't catch fucking St Mirren or what? I mean, it's a, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. The reason Robbie Nielsen apparently got fired was because we couldn't allow Hearts not to finish third place. That third place was pivotal. Naismith comes in and he says, I'm not worried. Finishing third place isn't important. And then the fucking loser fans decided to back Nace. Oh, he's just saying that to take pressure off the players. Well, he took the pressure off them and did it work, did it fuck. Then at the start of the season, he's like, I don't look at the league tape, I don't care where we are right now. Well, look at this. We're in the bottom six and we're going to go even lower. We are. Go I said this last week. We've got a run of fixtures coming up that are extremely difficult. we played more games than a lot of the teams in the league. We might have been in fourth and people were saying, Ah, oh, Hearts are we're on track. That's Stephen McLean on the Big Scottish Football Podcast talking pish saying, We're on track for European football. No, we're not. No, we're not. We've got a fixture list coming up and we will drop more points. The teams will play their games in hand. The only thing we're on track for is fucking disaster. We're going to go down the the table. Honestly, Stephen Naismith state, we could find ourselves 11th soon. We've got Ross County and Aberdeen. They've both got games in hands over us. If they win those game in hands, they go above us. And then the only teams below us after that are Hibernian and Livingston. And here, newsflash, I think Hibernian, they look more likely to pick up points than we do. At least under Montgomery, they're doing decent. They got a, a draw against Celtic yesterday, which is more than what we got the day. Levy and uh, Hibs both on just a point behind us and, and they will they will pick up more points than we will in the upcoming fixtures because our fixture list looks horrendous and it's just shite. Two games against the old farm. I never felt like we could win any of them. At least today though we got close. But the the, the pet let's talk let's talk about the game. I'm, I'm sick of talking about how shite hearts are. Let's talk about the game a little bit. Shankland hasn't been good this season but you know he's scored a couple of goals again he scored goals in consecutive games against Rangers and Celtic that's good going but when you're, you're playing in a shite team with a shite manager and everybody else around you is shite then you score one goal against Rangers and one goal against Celtic probably isn't going to be enough and it wasn't today but yeah good header from Lawrence Shankland uh, Rangers I, I would love to sit here and say that Hearts defend it amazingly and uh, Sander Clark pulled off all these great saves he didn't do that he did not do that. It was it was piss poor. Rangers were piss poor, and we were winning by default, really, because Rangers were shite. And that, that is that is the matter, or the story. That's that's what happened in this game. Rangers were shite. We didn't win no lead. And honestly, I thought we were going to win one now because Rangers were creating nothing. They had fucking two donkeys up front, Lammers and Dessers, two guys that I mean wouldn't even get on our bench to be fair. And they looked shite. They did not look like they were going to score. Then Civic dives in like the moron that he is. You know, sometimes I praise Toby Civic, but so many occasions this guy makes mistakes, really bad mistakes, 
goal costing mistakes and it should have been a goal costing mistake he gives away a penalty penalty to the Rangers not surprised at all needless did not need to do this did not need to give it away gives it away and then Tavernier hits the post lifeline on the brink of half time I'm sure this goal would have changed the game changed the momentum they don't get it it's 1-0 hearts and you're thinking brilliant okay second half I mean Rangers again dominated possession did not really do anything with it Raskin had a shot that hit the side netting Lammers fired one over the post other than that though Rangers didn't really create anything, neither did we to be fair, we did have one chance where Shankland like slid the ball across the 6 yard box at 1-0 but there was no takers and then you're thinking right well you know it looks like we're going to win 1-0 because this Rangers team has absolutely nothing going forward but no, 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 we hear those words again, penalty to Rangers and well John Beaton first goes over, I mean it's John Beaton for God's sake, he goes to check the monitor, he didn't even need to check the monitor John Beaton could have fucking lost both eyes last night and he'd have still seen this was a penalty. He gives it, I mean, is that a penalty? I think it's harsh, but Haring, once you tug the shirt, you're, you're taking a chance. Although what I will say is, it's a joke because he, he, people tug the shirts all the time and sometimes they just ignore it, sometimes they don't even fucking look at it. There only seems to be certain occasions when they actually care about tugging shirts. If we actually gave a foul every time, or a penalty every time, a, a shirt has been tugged, there would be about 10 penalties a game. I mean, no fucking joke. And the worst thing is, Goldson wasn't even getting on this ball. Haring tugs him back for Nori. I think that should be a deciding factor. I think when they look at it, I think if there is a tug on the shirt, I think common sense should come into play, and I think they should say, well, did that tug of the shirt prevent him from possibly getting on that ball and creating a goal-scoring opportunity? On this occasion, I don't think it did. I thought it was soft, but they get it. Tavernier blasts it in the middle, makes it 1-1. I'm thinking, right, well, you know what? A, a draw is better than nothing, I guess, because, you know, a point is better than zero points. Do the maths. It's no hard. Quick calculations, I will tell you that a point would put us on to 12. So I'll, I'll take the point, even though we should have won because a poor Rangers side. Did we get that? No, because Danilo scores with um, back post and he, he makes it 2-1. And all of a sudden, from we went through winning the game to losing the game and we didn't really create anything. It was nine minutes he had it on time. I don't know where he plucked nine minutes from, but I think Rangers scored in the second minute, so they would have had enough time either way, and, and we really done nothing to to try and get back into this game. It was it was poor for us. It was very poor. As bad as Rangers were, I don't think Rangers deserved this win, but I don't think we did either, so, I mean, <laughs> whatever the scoreline was, it was, we didn't do enough, I can't sit here and say, oh, we've been robbed, or we've been cheated, we were shite, we were absolutely shite, we had one chance, we took it with Shankland, that was it, that was it. Attacking football, where is it, Stephen A. Smith, where's the attacking football, it's fucking nowhere, it doesn't exist, it does not exist at Hearts, bring back Nielsen, bring him back fucking now, get rid of this guy, this guy's going to take us nowhere apart from the championship, and we don't want to be there, because every time we go to the championship, we always, we know, we, we pass it with flying colours, look, we should be a team pushing into third place, we should be third, we should be winning the odd Scottish Cup, winning the odd, odd League Cup, and, and trying to put pressure on Celtic and Rangers if they are having a bad season, we shouldn't be doing what we're doing right now, and that is falling towards this uh, relegation playoff position, it's an absolute joke, get Stephen Naismith out the club now, he's proved that he's not good enough, he's had, what, 11 games now, we've played everybody, and that's us played everybody this season in the league, we've played everybody, and we are sitting where we're sitting, you know, we're sitting, I think, in 11th, did I say? I think I said 11th. I'm pretty sure we're 11th. Nah, I, we're, we're sitting in...